Hi everyone, good morning. It's Margaret Manning here. Welcome to 60 and Me. Hope that you're having a good day today. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you uh, coming and showing up, spending your time with me, morning or afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. You know, we have women now all over the world in about 150 countries. Over 500,000 women reach us every month and uh, we have a, a great conversation on all of our channels. I want to remind you, by the way, that we are just um, uh, redoing the website a little bit and we've got some new features up there that I want to make sure you check out. Uh, in in addition to all the articles that we've done over the years, we've also got a regular news um, feature now every day. We did this before and people uh, missed it when it was gone, so it's back. Um, you know, just non-judgmental news where we can talk about things that are going on in the world in a in a very respectful and um, in interesting way. So that's a news feature that we have now on our website, along with um, all kinds of uh, uh, other chat questions, you know, just conversation starters and also a giveaway. And speaking of giveaways, I've got something at the end that I'm going to show you that I'm going to give to three people. And um, it's a very simple little uh, game we're going to play, but I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But stay tuned. Don't go away. Um, the topic today, oh, tea, tea, my tea. I'm not drinking tea. This is why I forgot. I'm a complete rebel today. I decided to have an espresso. I'm having a coffee. <laughs> I've got my little coffee cup and cheers. I don't know. I just decided on coffee today. I think it's partly the topic that I'm going to be chatting with you about that, you know, that just um, kind of puts me in a different mood. But uh, coffee it is today for me. So what about you? Um, I hope that you're enjoying something, though, because what I want to talk to you about is um, financial security. Yeah, we're all dealing with issues around money, aren't we? I certainly am. And, um, you know, I've been, I've been very open with you about, about my situation. But, um, you know, I think that uh, it's, it's, it's good to find some analogies in life that we can relate to with money because sometimes it can become so abstract. We've got a blogger. Um, her name is um, Danielle Howard. And Danielle um, actually lives in Colorado, where I used to live actually many years ago. It's a really cool um, place to live, Danielle. But uh, she, goes out on the river often and she said that she um she sees a lot of analogies between going out on the river and her financial turbulence in in many people's lives and there's a lot of emotion involved with um you know getting out into nature into onto the river where it's kind of unpredictable and a little bit dramatic sometimes. And so she wrote this article kind of making some analogies that I think are, are useful. Um, and so just like learning a new sport or sailing, there's um, kind of experience that you have to go through in order to get better at it. And uh, that financial planning and um, financial security doesn't just happen. It's a, it's a thing that we've learned by trial and error over our, our lives. And I think a lot of us have certainly uh, been through ups and downs that have dramatically impacted our lives. So that's the first thing that, um, that Daniel talks about, and that's planning for the unexpected. I mean, who expected the 2008 crash? I mean, it was, I mean, maybe the financial people knew about it, but we didn't know about it until it hit us. And we really were all, a lot of us were really hit severely. And at that point, the analogy is keep the boat upright. You know, if you're on the water and that kind of a, a an emergency or that kind of unexpected um, thing happens, what do you do? Well, first of all, you've just got to keep you know, going and getting, um, sometimes getting knocked overboard and getting wet and getting uh, kind of damaged is actually part of the learning experience. I mean, I certainly learned a lot myself about, about myself and also about my situation and my priorities during that period where I lost pretty much everything. So um, I think that we, we all have our ways of coping, but like, she, like uh, Danielle saying with this boat analogy, okay, the boat tips over, you've got to hang on. You've got to, you can't just let go and you have to learn a way to tip it right up, right it again and, and, and go forward. And you can't really anticipate uh, these kinds of unpredictable things, but you, but there are some things that happen that um, you, you saw the signs. I mean, we, in our heart of hearts, we all knew that that was an unsustainable world that we were living in, in, in 2008. But, you know, there's going to be downtimes in all our lives. Maybe you're in one right now. And we're going to have to figure out ways to plan for the unexpected. So that's an important one. Um, of course, there's some patterns that you can get into. Danielle reminds us, you know, to review your, um, your, your plans, you know, your insurance, your investments and other, other financial savings. And just make sure 
as best you can, that you can survive any totally unexpected activities. Many people just aren't even there. And I, I'm, I'm not sure that I am. But, you know, it's like we, ex we anticipate, like on the river, <laughs> back to the river, we anticipate a smooth journey. We, we, you really can't live without that positivity. I mean, if you got up every day and worried about money, you'd be super stressed and that's not good for your health either. But, you know, you, you've got to hit, you hit an unexpected bump or rock in the river. You've got to learn how to uh, fall back on something, on your savings or just a little bit of uh, support. So try your best to have at least a month, um, if not more, of cover so that you can you can get going forward if there's something unexpected. And so another thing that Daniel talks about is having um, the ability to, uh, to, how to acclimatize to life's changes by having some resources and having some tools that you can, um, that you can turn to. If you, uh, you know, if you need some help, now there are financial planners, fiduciary pl um, financial advisors who are um, are you know paid by the hour basically, and and people that will help you with your financial um, issues without trying to sell you anything. Um, and uh, many you know many women find that's a useful uh, approach to take. But it's having those tools, knowing where to go, and there actually are a lot online. Um, you can get almost any piece of advice, but just uh, like take it all with a grain of salt for sure. Um, you know, many women do blame the economy or, um, you know, blame a re relationship or an ex-spouse, husband or partner. And, you know, Danielle's a little bit tough love on this. I mean, it's like basically you guys have got to take responsibility. Us guys, I'm putting me in that bucket, have got to take responsibility for our financial situation and our future. If we're not earning as much as we were before or we're not earning anything except a pension or social security, guess what? We have to reduce our, our spending. We have to just bring it down. And all the things that we hoped that we would be doing in our 60s and 70s and, and beyond are just sometimes out of reach. And that's it. That's life. I mean, it, it, there's just that those two ways of looking at it really, aren't there? So, you know, she says, hire the right guide. I mean, that's what we were talking about with the, the ship analogy. You know, hire someone that knows how to manage these uh, unexpected turbulence on the on the river. And also uh, hire someone that can help you um, with the same situation in your financial um, um situation. And as I said, fiduciaries get paid a different way than some of the financial planners. Uh, make sure you understand how they get paid. If they get paid on a commission uh, that's uh, based on a, something they sell you, then you know be aware of that because then they're going to try to sell you something, aren't they? Uh, if you if you go to a fiduciary planner, they are paying uh, you're paying them by the hour, and you get your advice um, that you need specifically. You're not trying to really have anything sold to you. So anyway, um, she says at the end, <laughs> gratitude is your life jacket. You know, gratitude is where you go for what you've got. You've got life. You're here. You're here on the planet. You've got life. Hopefully you have health. And those things are, you know, just we said this before, money can't buy any of that. So whatever your situation, it's there's a positive side that you are here and alive and well. And that's, I think, the gratitude that, that uh, Danielle encourages us, the people that love us, the situation that we find ourselves in uh, may be tough. But it's um, in perspective. Keep it there. Anyway, I've got a little gift for, us, for for three of you that I think hopefully will cheer you up a bit and maybe just um, give you some inspiration because it, it does for me. It's my kind of little hobby that I do. I make these little necklaces and um, I put basically they're just on a ribbon or a, a little chain. I should wear one actually. Um, but these are the little um, pieces that go on the chain and I've got three of them here. I want to give them to three people. And all you have to do is go to our website go to our 60ME website, take a look at the articles and just choose one that you that you love reading that was interesting to you. And then come back here, whether it's Facebook or YouTube, wherever you're reading this or on the website, um, and uh, just tell me uh, what the article is that you love. And we can, um, I'll, I'll pick three names randomly. There's no competition. 
<laughs> it's just honestly close my eyes and choose and, and we'll, we'll keep doing these giveaways all the time so there's lots of opportunity so I'm going to show you the three that I've got that I've picked out this time and uh, they're kind of cool I, I I like them personally and they're handmade by me they're little cabochons uh, a little resin disc with a cool design behind them from a magazine or book or paper that I love cards and then uh, with a little um, attachment at the top so you can put a ribbon through it so this one is just a beautiful lotus flower this next one is um, it's actually a flower too but it's a little bit more abstract it's a pink one can you see they're really sweet that's on a silver the other one was on black and then finally for those of you who love birds I just thought this was so pretty I hope you can see it properly it's a little bird and again you can just put it on a black ribbon and or chain and wear it around your neck and they're made by me and I, and I guess I add a little element of my personal love. My kisses go on, the, on them and uh, for three people who take the time to go have a look at our, web, our website, 60andme.com, and then just tell me about an article that you love, I'll choose three of you and send a little gift to you. But every day I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support and for being here and hope that makes uh, a nice little fun thing for you to do today. But thank you again. Let me know what you're, how you're doing with your financial situation in your 60s. I'd like to know that. That would be an interesting conversation to have. Take good care of yourselves, everybody. Get out and do something fun today. Have, have a wonderful day and we'll see you all back here again soon. Bye bye for now.